Hi there, this is James at C2. Welcome back to our latest video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be covering workflows and how to set one up. Now, a workflow is a set of automated processes which can run in the background to automize some of your business processes without the need for any user interaction. So I have identified a need in our database, in our CRM, for leads to be automatically updated. We have imported a, a set of leads into our CRM and the topic on them all is imported lead from trade show. Now I want to change that to the customer's name with the words potential customer after it. Now I want to do that without the need for any users to go in and do this. I want this to happen automatically. So to set up a workflow, we go to the settings area and under settings there's a tile for processes. I'm already in it, so we'll go there. And now that we're in the processes area, we can go ahead and set up our new process. We do that by clicking new and we give our process a name, which is update the lead topic for imported leads from trade shows. OK, we then select the category. Now, there are four to choose from. In this case, we want to select the workflow. So I click that from the list. And we then select which entity we want our workflow to run against. In this case, I want it to run against lead. So I select that from the list and hit OK. So that's started creating our process. We now need to assign some parameters to it. First thing we need to consider is do we want users to be able to select this for use manually? What I mean by that is will this run automatically in the background or do I also want users to also be able to say I want to run a workflow myself? We do that by selecting as an on-demand process. We then move across to choose our options for the automatic processes when this runs automatically. First thing to consider is the scope. This is the scope of the workflow being made available to members of your team. If you leave it as user, only a certain user can run your workflow. If you select business unit, only certain users can use it, but I want everyone to be able to use it, so I'll select organization. I'm going to leave it as start when record is created. Now, the reason I want to do that is I want my workflow to run whenever leads are imported. And when a lead is imported, that obviously creates a lead record. Therefore, I select record is created. There are other options here. So you can select to run workflows when a record status changes. Perhaps it changes from active to closed on a case, in which case you might want to run a workflow against that. When the record is assigned to another user or team, you can run workflows when record fields change. If you select that and then choose select, it will allow you to select which fields changing prompts the workflow to run, or also when a record is deleted. I'm happy with record is created, so I'm going to leave it as is. We can then start adding our steps to our process. We do that by clicking Add Step. Now, the first step I want to do in my process is I want the workflow to ensure that it only runs against leads where the topic says imported lead from trade show. So I'm going to insert a check condition. It's also a good idea, it's not mandatory, but it's a good idea to give each of your steps a description. So check the lead topic. That's what I want it to do. And then we can assign our checks. We do that by clicking the if condition link. And what I want to do is look at the lead. You may notice, or you will notice, that you can look at related entities, but I want to do it on the lead, so I'm going to leave it as lead. I want the lead topic to be the field that is checked. So I select that from the list. And then what I want to look for is ones where the topic equals a certain value. And the value I want to choose is imported lead from trade show. I can save and close. And that then is transferred across to our screen. So it shows you what's happening is if the lead topic equals imported lead from trade show, then we can select what actions we want to be taken. So I'm going to click Add Step. You can set it to wait a certain amount of time before action is taken. You can set it to create other records, to update records, assign records to other teams. You can send emails. You can start child workflows. You can change the status, or you can stop the workflow under certain conditions. 
I'm happy with it the way it is. I want to I want the lead topic to equal imported lead from trade show. So I click there, hit add step, and what I want to do is update the lead record. I'm going to update the lead record. Now notice you can relate it to update other records. I don't want to, I want to update the lead. So I'm going to go to set properties. And the first thing to consider is which field do we want to update? Now it's topic, so we click in there. And I want it to automatically generate the lead name in the topic field. So, or the lead's first name. So what I'm going to do is in topic, I'll hold my mouse in there, ensure the cursor is in there, and then move across to the dynamic values area. I'm looking for the lead and I'm looking for their first name. So I look for the field in my list. It's the first name I want to include. Hit add. It'll confirm for you what's going to be added. Hit OK, and you'll notice it goes in as a data merge field. It's in yellow, it's in parenthesis, and that information will be populated. I also want to follow that up with the words potential customer. So I'll enter that. That's all I want to update, so I'm going to save and close. You can review your process if you like. This is quite a simple one, but you can make them very, very complicated if you like. There we go, we've added that, so I can save it. And an important thing to bear in mind is all this has done is added the workflow. We still need to make it available for use by users. We do that by activating the workflow. And you can do that in the toolbar. There's a little green icon called activate. Hit activate, then confirm it. And that will activate our workflow, which means it's now available for use. This means that any leads which are imported from now on and the topic says imported lead from trade show will automatically be updated to have the, the customers or the potential customers first name with the words potential customer after it. In addition, because I made it an, as an on demand process, users can go ahead and run this manually if they like. And I'll show you how to do that. It's very, very simple from their list of leads. So I'll go to leads and we can see there are quite a few with that topic as I'm going to highlight them all. Go to the more commands and click run workflow. Now just before I do that, what I'd like to cover is the fact that if there were any leads in this list which didn't have the same topic, remember the workflow checks what the topic says before it runs because we've included that step. So if any of them didn't have a topic of imported lead from trade show, that one will not be updated. Okay, so if we run our workflow, so we've selected that from the list, go to run workflow, what CRM will do is it will list all of the on-demand workflows available to this user. In this case, there only is one, so it's highlighted already. Update the lead topic for imported leads from trade shows. Fine. Hit add. It asks you, do you want to apply that to all the leads selected? Yes. I click OK and we get a little progress bar. Okay, now skip the head slightly to the end of the progress bar. And you will see it looks like nothing has happened. But bear in mind, we were still on that page. All we need to do is refresh the page. And once the page refreshes, you will see that it's updated the topic on all of our leads. And that's how to set up a workflow. And that is how a workflow works. If you've enjoyed the video or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of our products, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Thanks for listening. Speak to you soon.